Hello, YouTube. Hello, everyone. Um, welcome to another Quote Time with Blessed. And um, I've had issues with my recording equipment in the last two videos. Uh, they didn't turn out fine because uh, I didn't have audio in them. I probably didn't realize them that until I was done with the video. So I, I apologize. I hope you're still able to watch the video and probably get the content without hearing my voice. And today I'll be showcasing Project Discovery is um, on cover, pretty cool um, to written in Go. And um, if you're wondering what it is, basically it's something that can help you do some good and numb for uh, uh, looking up for public uh, uh, um, hosts on the internet. Uh, it uses um, Shodan um, senses and um, um, I think the email uh, API to scrap for um, host public facing hosts. And then throw the IPs at you. Um, I will be demonstrating this to show a couple of uh, stuff you can do with it. Uh, but um, once you got this clone from the Project Discoveries uh, uh, um, GitHub repo, you you would want to set the API keys. Uh, let me show you. For instance, over here, I, I've got my. Usually, it's saved in the uh, home config on cover pro, provider dot uh, config. Uh, provide a config YAML file so but I'm not going to show everything over there so I don't end up giving you guys my API key that I'm going to just display the head and maybe count the first uh, 17 16 characters just to show you you can see the way it stores the JSON uh, API kind of like in the um, stores the API key in that if I extend this maybe to show more I find that's fair enough just to show you what it looks like okay so let's pretty much get into this too now um, the first uh, command you see I actually ran in there. Now to, to install this, I think you can just use this command over here, uh, which is what you copy from the, the GitHub repo. So I'm not going to do that because I already have that installed on my box. Okay. So now the first command you see I ran there, I was just checking publicly facing IPs attached to this domain. Well, I manage this domain. So I'm, I'm licensed to do this stuff I'm doing here. Do not try this on something you're not licensed to do. So um, basically, you can see clearly if I do the uh, on cover minus H, uh, we can see a couple of uh, uh, switches that we can use with this, and also the config to probably config this. Now, I think this can also be built or uh, enhanced to do a couple of other stuff when it comes to recon. If you want to go that uh, down that rabbit lane, and doing some good recon, you can add multiple keys as well to improve on your search. Okay, uh, you can also export the keys to environment variable using the exports, uh, the, the tag, then also the value. Okay, so let's get our hands on this pretty stuff. Now, the first command I ran, we can see using on cover, uh, echo, I'm just like printing this out and piping that output into on cover, then running that using children and census because I only have keys for those two at the moment. And we can see pretty much cool, it started grabbing the, the uh, 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 um, IPs associated with that public facing to me uh, from Shodan and from census. What if I want to maybe try that same command but probably passing an SSL flag just to, uh, sorry, passing the SSL flag just so I'm only able to grab stuff SSL. I can also specify ports. I can wrap this and put an SSL there, then I put this over there. Then I can wrap this at the final end. I think I'm going to use the double quote here. Then the double quote here. Then the single quotes. Now this is also going to do the same thing, but only SSL ports. And you can see I'm grabbing more than the initial scan now. Obviously, the more IPs have been collected or being grabbed and giving me more stuff. What if I want to maybe go after technologies? Probably I'm going to uh, pass in a technology flag over there. I put in the domain name there. Then I can pass in maybe something like technologies. Probably if anything that looks like that in there, uh, it's going to start printing that stuff over for me. I think I can separate this using a comma. Okay, um, respective result. I guess um, I did not view that. Okay, it's still throwing out more, more, more IPs than the initial. Now uh, you can collect all these IPs. Whilst there are a couple of other tools you can use to do the same thing, but this 
it's pretty much fast i can now maybe uh collect all that and pass that out to save it as a result probably uh, um, um public ips dot text and i will be writing the file out to save as uh, an output of a result which i can now take and go do some end mapping to find out what services are running on them or i can look at them individually to probably see what is happening there now i can also pass a silent switch maybe just to print only uh, because here i'm seeing i'm printing show that where it's coming from and other stuff but if i pass a silent switch maybe i'll run this command again i'm going to remove the verbose and pass uh, maybe a silent you will see it's just going to clean it up a bit and give me only the details that are necessary the ips so i don't have the source where it's grabbing that from anymore I can take this and also write this out to a file. I've got a bunch of IPs that I can now start looking for using to scan the, the client assets. Now just to show you what it seems like, I'm currently working on a job. I'm going to see if I can probably play around that stuff. Uh, here, if it's uh, going to find something, anything related to that client that I'm actually working on a job for and see if I can grab IPs. Obviously, you can see the ton of the public facing IPs which I can now take and start using to do uh, for the scanning and analysis. Now, some of these IPs may be hosted in cloud resources. So sometimes you see the EC2 flag thing attached to it and the OS3 stuff gives you a hint that this is something in Amazon. Uh, depending on the scope of your test, you can still push to test in them if you want to. Uh, the paint, well, um, now I can, a more unique, another unique thing which I would love to show, I can still run this scan and pass this result all the way straight into maybe pipe this into HTTP X and um, see what I can validate so it's going to be doing the scan piping the output to HTTP X then validating the ones that are hosting the server right on the fly you can see how easy it is to start maybe automating some stuff okay I guess uh, I should probably save the results out to file so I can have it saved but again I can still pipe this to another tool called Nuclei I'm just trying to show you guys how cool this stuff is. So I'm doing HTTPS and Nuclei right on the fly. Uh, um, then by the time I'm doing my Nuclei scan, I'm taking my results, I'm also piping that out or saving that out to an output file. It makes it easy for me to now uh, be running three different processes in my workflow. I'm just going to cancel this. Running three different work processes in my workflow. I'm more like saving time and I can also automate this thing and maybe just write a little bash scripts to take this thing and just uh, uh, scream the hell out of this thing like maybe doing some uh, trading stuff to make it pretty much faster if i want to uh, just the flexibility in the way the tools can the tool can be used alongside other tools is what really trails me the fact that i can just grab the ips validate if they are um, web servers running on them instantly take the ones with web servers only save the output out now it doesn't mean the other ones are not valid i can still first save my first result i can run this first without the https save my outputs then do this with https save the outputs then also now go against doing nuclear phone scan using those ones that are having a web servers hosting them then and also save my outputs that way i've been able to um save myself a couple of hurdles like i'll leave these commands in the work uh, in the, the description just so you're able to follow it and uh that's I think how flexible a tool like this is. Now you may be wondering, why would you want to do this when you can use stuff like Osmedius? You probably have seen me showcase Osmedius. Uh, Osmedius is a very powerful stuff. But let's say you want to go maybe that probably basic lane without having to do all the bunch of stuff Osmedius would do. And it also takes time to do all that stuff. This is pretty much fast. You can see how fast it is for me to grab stuff. I think uh, um, this is active, unlike what you find if you're using Recon NG, which is passive, gives you a ton load of IPs and some are not actually valid. This is actually actively probing those hosts. So it makes it easy for you to get good results and, and you know what you're doing at the fly without wasting time. Anyways, I'm going to wrap this up here. I hope you love this. I hope you enjoy this. If you do, please do like and subscribe and um, leave comments. Uh, uh, I hope um, I've been doing some good content to make you guys smile. All right, see you in the next recording, which will be us doing some back to Active Directory cool, fun stuff. All right, thanks. Bye. Have a great day.